Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, October 24th, 2022. Someone had requested a video on aspects, so I'm going to do a little bit on the planetary aspects here this morning. I use these aspects as more of a confirmational tool than a primary tool although they can be pretty good on their, on their own but what you have to do is you have to be able to filter so you get the correct aspects if you run an aspect list with your typical astro program you're gonna get uh, hundreds of aspects during the day if you're using uh, you know points to the ascendant midheaven vertex you know house cusps however you're doing that so you have to really break that down and filter you know 85 percent of them out of your mix so generally what I like to do is to take uh, planets that are in aspect or look for the moon to be coming into aspect with another planet and then run your fast movers to those and then you need to know how to find the correct aspect, which ones are going to be the best. So you definitely want to start with the major aspects, and then you can add some from there. Uh, all this is in the Perfect Storm book, and we also supply a software tool that will give you an aspect list. So I've filtered out what look to me like the better aspects for today. Uh, so you want to be able to identify the planets that are going to be, let's just call them hot planets. All that means is you're looking for the, for planets that are in aspect because they're going to give you more energy than just a single planet would on its own. Another thing you want to look for is rulership because that's going to give strength to a planet. So I'm not going to tell you the various ways you can do that. Uh, there's the one very obvious one, the planet in its own house, but there's other ways you can look at that as well. So what we have here so far today, uh, you can see I've, we've uh, already passed. I started marking these right after 2 a.m. when the volatility picks up. Uh, I've got the first eight aspects on the left we've already hit through those so you can see how they've done we had low high then high had a good move down uh, then when we hit the fourth line here we just kind of uh, ended the downtrend and went flat so this uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a reversal it could also just be an increase or decrease in volatility or we could uh, hit a midpoint of a run at times we hit a nice low here. Notice a couple of these where we had the good moves were also coincident with our Vedic timer A1, our white and green blocks here. Uh, I do have to mention that these are completely non-correlated. So, you know, these, these blocks in the ribbon indicator are not aspect Based. So these are not correlated events. And then as we got to the uh, sixth aspect here, we went right through that one. It became sort of a midpoint. The seventh one turned the market back up after a little two-bar correction. And then the last one just came in, also gave us a uh, reversal to the upside <clears throat> on that one. So I've marked out. The other ones for the day, notice how a lot of those also come on top of the uh, white and green blocks. So those should be some pretty good trigger points for uh, today. So that's a little bit on the aspects. How to do these aspects are explained in the uh, intraday aspect chapter of the Perfect Storm book. And uh, aspect list is easy to create with the software tool that we supply.